So in this video, we will learn how to upload a converted file into Google Drive. So imagine this, you are using Cloud Convert to convert PNG file to JPG file, or it can be any other files, doesn't really matter. Now after these files are converted, you upload them into Google Drive for backup or safekeeping. Now you are finding this process very tedious. So that is why I would suggest that you bring in some automation. So that whenever a file is converted in Cloud Convert, automatically upload this file into Google Drive. So in this video, we will be using Pabli Connect to integrate Cloud Convert and Google Drive. The best part of using Pabli Connect is there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. It can be done easily. Let me show you with an example. Okay, so this is my Cloud Convert account and here I'm going to upload a file. Okay, so let me just add a file. Now, after this file is uploaded and it gets processed, the idea is that the uploaded file, the processed file will be inserted directly into our Google Drive. Okay, so, so the idea is that I'm going to upload this particular file. The name of the file is castle and it is getting uploaded. Okay, so at present, uh, the format is a JPG and I'm going to uh, preferably convert into a PNG. Okay, and let me just click on convert. Okay, so it is getting uploaded and then it will get processed and after that it will be processed to a uh, PNG file and when the PNG file is uh, converted, okay, so it has been converted. So the idea is that I'm just going to take you to uh, my Google Drive. Okay, so this is my Google Drive and let me just refresh this. Okay, so as you can see, we do have the converted file that is castle.png. So it is it has been automatically uploaded into my Google Drive. So basically, this is the whole gist. You convert a file, doesn't matter which file it is, it can be mp3, it can be image file, it can be mp4 file. After the conversion, the converted file will be uploaded automatically into your Google Drive. Now, to begin the actual integration process in the new tab, let me just type pabli.com. So your obvious question is why pabli.com? Well, we have an app called as Pabli Connect that will integrate Cloud Convert and Google Drive. So this is basically the website of uh, pabli.com. Let me just click on sign in. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. As you can see, I already have made an account in Pabli Connect. You can also build your own free account in just two minutes. So let me just uh, scroll down and here you will find connect. Just click on access now. So basically, we are going to create a new workflow that will integrate Cloud Convert and Google Drive. Now, before we create a new workflow, there is something I have to do. Okay, so let me just uh, scroll down. And as you can see, I have already integrated Cloud Convert and my Google Drive. So I'm going to switch off this workflow. Okay, so your obvious question is why I'm switching off this workflow. Well, the answer is very simple. Since we are going to create a new workflow, this old workflow running in parallel to it will create the problem of duplication of results. So to avoid the same data repeated twice in my Google Drive, I have switched off this workflow. It is actually none of your concern because we are going to start from scratch by clicking on create workflow. Okay, so I'm going to give a name to this workflow. How about we make it as cloud convert to Google Drive. Of course, you can give any name according to your discretion. It's totally up to you. Okay, so after that, let me just click on create. Okay, so when you click on create, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the trigger window. So in the choose app, how about we make it as cloud convert because we want to send the data from cloud convert. That is why cloud convert it is. Now in the trigger event, how about we make it as job is finished. So basically the idea is that when a file is uploaded, then it is processed. When the processed file is finished, the job is done. So that is why we have mentioned the trigger event as job is done, job is finished. Now, of course, we have uh, some more trigger events like new job is created, job is filled. Now, in case if you want more trigger events according to your choice, you can just approach the help section. And when you click the help section, you will be directed to Pabli forums. Now in Pabli forums, you can make a request that you want so and so triggers. So not only just triggers, we can also approach for new integration request or new action event request. So this is how you just uh, click here and make a request. Okay, so let me just take you back to Pabli Connect and let us begin the actual integration. So let me just click on connect. So in the connection name, let me just click on connect with Cloud Convert. Okay, so it is trying to authorize. 
Excellent. So it is showing the authorization successful. Just press OK. So when you click on OK, you will find the webhook URL. Now in the usual cases, you basically copy this webhook URL and paste it into the triggering software. But in case of uh, Cloud Convert, you don't have to do it. All you have to do is just click on Save and Send Test Request to Integrate Cloud Convert to Public Connect. Okay, so the API response is positive. It basically is showing that we have successfully integrated Cloud Convert to Public Connect. Now, basically, it means that anytime a new file is processed in Cloud Convert, Public Connect has to capture the data. So as to ensure that Public Connect captures this data, let me just click on this button, Capture Webhook Response. Click this. Okay, so it is showing it is waiting for the data. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to add one more file. We are basically going to repeat the same process. We are going to add a file and then we are going to process it. Now, after the file is getting pro after the file gets processed, it will be straight away added to Public Connect. So as you can see, I have an awesome picture of uh, this orcha. So this is this is actually a beautiful castle we have in our country. Okay, so this is a JPG file. I'm planning to convert again this into PNG file. Now, uh, you can also work with other files like uh, mp3, mp4, doesn't really matter. But I'm just going with this one because it is easy to process. Okay, so the file has been processed. Okay, so let me just click on close. And let me just take you to public connect to check whether the data has been captured or not. Yes, the data has been captured. So let me just uh, scroll down and we have the image name that is orcha.png. Excellent. Now, where is our URL? So basically, we need a URL to upload it into Google Drive. So basically, let me just show you the URL. Let me just scroll down. Okay, so basically, this is your URL. Let me just show you the URL. So basically, this is the URL. This whole thing is your URL. So using these, uh, this URL, we are going to upload a file in our Google Drive. So let me just do that. Let me just click on this plus button. Okay, so when you click on this plus button, another window opens up. This is called as the action window. So in the choose app, how about we make it as Google Drive? Google Drive it is because we want to upload a file in Google Drive. That is why. Now in the action event, how about we make it as upload a file? Let it load. Okay. Let me just scroll down and let me just, uh, yeah, this is the action event, upload a file. Okay, so upload a file is an action event. Now there are a ton of action events like move a file, move a folder, share a file, all of them are a bunch of action events. Now in case if you want more action events according to your choice, just approach Fab Fably Forum and make a request that you want so and so action event. So let me just click on connect. Okay, so let me just click on connect with Google Drive. Okay, so it is trying to sign into my Google Drive. So basically it will show a series of Gmail accounts I have. So these are all the Gmail accounts I have. Now, I'm interested in using the Google Drive present in this Gmail account, Michael Karas. So I'm selecting this one. So basically all the processed file will be stored in this particular Google Drive. Okay, so basically this is the same Google Drive. Okay, and let me just uh, take you to the drive itself. Basically we are at this point, we are in this folder uploaded file. Let me just take you to the home page. Okay, so basically this is my Google Drive. Okay, so let me just take you back and uh, as you can see, it is already asking, uh, asking for access. So before I click on allow, let me just tell you something. Public Connect doesn't take any chances with your data. Your data is 100% safe and secure with this. So on the basis of that trust, let me just press allow. Okay, so it is showing the authorization is successful. Just press okay. Okay, excellent. So when you press OK, a set of blanks has appeared in front of you. The purpose of these blanks is very simple. We are going to upload an image or a file into Google Drive from the data that we have received from Cloud Convert via Public Connect. Now it is asking in the first blank, in the first field, that is the URL. So basically this is the URL. So I have already mentioned this, this is the URL that you want. So I'm just going to map this particular detail here. So I'm going to the first accordion and let me just uh, click in. Okay, so this is the one and we have mapped it. Then we have the folder ID. So what is the folder ID? So what I'm going to do here is I'm just taking into my drive and I'm going to create a new folder. Okay, so in this particular folder, we are going to keep all the files that we have received from Cloud Convert. So Cloud Convert Files, just a random name. And let me just click on Create. Okay, so the folder has been created, Cloud Convert Files. So let me just uh, open this folder. 
Okay, so this is basically the folder ID. I'm going to copy this up to here. This is your folder ID. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here. Easy. Okay, now this will be a static ID because this folder ID won't really change because all the files will be coming into the same folder. So we have kept the static ID. Now in the file name, we are just going to enter the file name. So the file name is uh, something.png. So let me just show you that. Okay, let me just scroll down. Yeah, this is the one orcha.png. So at this point, all we have to do is just click on save and send test request to uh, uh, upload this file into Google Drive. So let me just uh, take you to Google Drive after this uh, API response is processed. Okay, so it is showing a positive API, res API response. So let me just take you to uh, Google Drive and let me just refresh this. Okay, no need to refresh. Actually, this file has arrived. Excellent. So the presence of this file shows that we have successfully integrated Cloud Convert and, public and Google Drive with help of Public Connect. Now, before you leave, let me just uh, minimize all my action window and let me just explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell. So first you integrated Cloud Convert to Public Connect and then you have integrated Public Connect to Google Drive. So now there's a perfect flow of data between Cloud Convert and Google Drive. Excellent.